Hey guys, so it's the next portrait in my Avengers portrait series, and this time it is Winter Soldier! <laughs> now before I get started talking about anything, I just want to go ahead and apologize that 10 minutes of footage are missing, and it was like the most important 10 minutes of this entire freaking video, and I'm so frustrated. I thought I could have sworn that I hit the record button. Anyway, if you want to know what I did, I'll put a link in the description with a tutorial that pretty much covers that process. It was pretty much just a major fixing of errors. But anyway, back to this portrait. I definitely tried to spend more time on this, and it clocked in at about 3 hours and 50 minutes, I believe, with all the footage added together. And well, I guess plus the 10 minutes it would be 4 hours. But yeah, I... You know, as with all my portraits, I kind of had a love-hate relationship with the process and the end result. It was really difficult to get the darks dark. My major focus with this one was basically layering, lots and lots of layering to try and get darks, and also try and get proportions more correct. I started off doing something a little bit different this time, just trying to map out like where I wanted things to be. And I think that helped. I think it's closer than what it would have been otherwise. But it's still... it's... Uh, maybe I should like prop it up or something instead of drawing flat on a desk, which I've been told from like a bajillion different people that that's like a really bad idea because it skews your vision of the drawing, which then skews the drawing. <laughs> which is the mistake that I make all the time with these portraits. So. I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll change my position or I'll change how I draw them, or I won't because I'm really lazy, which is most likely going to be the thing that'll happen. I think the features came out, like, individually. I know they don't exactly look like him, but individually I think they are improving over time the more that I do these portraits, which is good. I think I only have, like, three or four left in this series. I gotta go back and look at my list and see who's left. But um, fear not for those who are preemptively freaking out. That's not the end of the Avengers portrait series. It's the end of version 2.0 and there'll be a 3.0 probably starting next year, I'm thinking. I'm aiming to get like one a month done so that I could be done kind of early in this year and have a nice long break. but. I mean, knowing me, that's not how it's gonna work out. <laughs> I also apologize for the massive glare on the top of the page. I always forget that I need to position my light differently when I do portraits versus when I draw anything else because graphite is really reflective. So he looks super shiny, but if you like hold up the paper, it looks normal. So. I'll, I like I figure it out later and I end up adjusting it a bit later so periodically you'll see it not be super shiny. I think the fact that I took more time with this one definitely made an impact. Like there's little minor sections that came out better than I feel otherwise would have come out because whenever I do these portraits I always rush through them because I want to get them over with but I made this one usually I do it in like one day at best like two days at worst. Well, I mean, at worst on average. I've had one like take a couple weeks before because I was super procrastinating on it. Oh my god. Anyway, so I just was like, alright, I'll spend like an hour a day on it and that'll be it. <laughs> and I think that helped. I think just having that time limit like, okay, I'll get this hour done and then I don't have to think about it until tomorrow. And I think that probably helped me. Although it stayed on my desk longer, which means it was more in the way, and I kind of had to like eat around it. <laughs> a part I also struggled with was his hair, and aside from the can't get it dark enough, the reference that I had had a dark background, and as with most of these portraits, because most have a dark background, it doesn't transfer well with a white background. And I'm trying to keep them all a white background so they all like match because it's a series. They're all supposed to be unified. And he was backlit. And so his hair was all glowy. And it made because so his hair is mostly white. And it's, it's like you can't draw white on white. So I ended up shading kind of more than I otherwise would have been if this was on a darker background. And the major part that I did 
is unfortunately not on the camera. It's at the very top of his head. I didn't realize that it was cutting off the top of his head. I'm sorry, there's a little bit more hair there. <laughs> but Alex said it looked like he was had like a really flat head, and I'm like, no, see these lines up here, they're hair. It's just like white light is on it, so it's it's white. Oh, and I totally forgot to talk about the highlights. <laughs> My white gel pen stopped working, so I tried to use acrylic paint and the way I was doing it just was not working. I need to get a new white gel pen, so <laughs> I ended up having to add highlights in Photoshop. But anyway, yeah, overall, it's okay. <laughs> slowly progressing, slowly getting better, and as always, hopefully the next one will continue to improve. So thanks for watching! Bye!